Hey, how's it going? This is McCoy Buck. This video was requested because I had mentioned in my previous tutorial, how to use Vitruvian bones, that there were two things that can break your Vitruvian bones and can be hard to troubleshoot unless you're already aware of what they are. So I thought I'd create this video of exactly what they are and how to avoid them. I got some help to understand exactly how Vitruvian bones work from Victor Paredes, the product manager at Lost Marble. He says, we needed a simple way for Vitruvian bone to know what layers to hide so the user wouldn't have to worry about navigating between multiple layers all the time or having to create a complex workaround to make something the software should be smart enough to do. I think that was the hardest challenge in terms of conceptualizing this feature. Mike realized the use selected bones for FlexiBinding feature was the perfect option to achieve this because it already ties a set of bones to specific layers, as many bones and as many layers as you want. So we could already use that information to make the Vitruvian bones work without having to add any extra steps to the rigging or animation process. So in my case, all the points in the foot were bound to a single bone using the bind points tool. This made the foot visible when switching between Vitruvian bones. So Mike Clifton, the creator of Moho says, this is a case that Vitruvian bones don't consider. It would be kind of problematic or slow in the case where you have thousands of vector points and they're attached to various bones. The program would have to check all the points and all the bones and see if all of them are attached to hidden Vitruvian bones before knowing if the entire layer should be hidden. Right now, it just doesn't work that way. Victor adds, so if you want a layer to hide automatically with Vitruvian bones, use the bind layer tool or the bone use selected bones for flexi binding menu command. He also gave a tip. You can bind all points or some of them in a layer to bones and apply bone use selected bones for flexi binding, and it will work. This doesn't mean you can't use the point binding feature as we normally do. Actually, binding points plus Vitruvian bones opens a lot of crazy possibilities. It just means you can't use it to tell Vitruvian bones what to hide. Something to note, the bind layer tool also works because although it's more rigid than flexi binding, it also ties a layer to a bone. One other pitfall that you might run into was an example provided by Eugene Babich over at the Molt Rush YouTube channel. I highly recommend you check out his channel and scripts. I will link to his channel in the description. He says, in my case, when the V-bones did not hide a layer, it was because I accidentally used the selected bones for flexi binding command on a bone that was outside of a V-bone. If you applied this command to at least one bone outside the limb, the V-bone will stop hiding the layer. Maybe it will help someone. I'm pretty sure it will, Eugene. Thanks for the heads up. And that's it. Both of these mistakes can be easily fixed by making sure the layers that aren't hidden that are attached to Vitruvian bones are flexi-bound. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up. Support those that I mentioned in this video. You'll find more about them in the description. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.